So in boxing news, Anthony Joshua could use a knockout to get his name back in the talks of the upper echelon of the heavyweight division. Butterbean is back, y'all. Remember Butterbean from Tuesday Night Fights? Fought Larry Holmes. Think knocked him down with a balance shot. I just uh, watched the video. Shout out to Marco Boxing. He interviewed Butterbean. Butterbean is attempting to come back at 57 years old. Lost a lot of weight. Came down from 400 pounds. And I think he said he's at 296. Showed his belt where it used to be. Talked about... Um, just he's in the best shape he's ever been, and he says he has a huge fight coming up. Doesn't want to give the details quite yet until everything is uh, signed on the dotted line. Butterbean says he's coming back. His last fight was 15 years ago. He couldn't remember who. He said he's had like 300 fights, some, amateur, um, some in the tough man circuit. And I found something he said interesting, though, besides the fact that he said he would uh, beat the bricks off Jake Paul. I'm paraphrasing. But he said he didn't like to spar. And I was thinking, man, if you didn't like to spar, <laughs> that must mean you were getting your head handed to you <laughs> in the, you know, back in the day. Um... I have nothing against Butterbean. I just remember... Some of his fights, he I'm sure he had nothing to do with it. I'm sure it was the people in charge. But some of his fights were definitely staged. I remember the crowd chanting fix and stuff like that. He would clearly miss a punch. The guy would go down or he'd land a shot. You could tell it wasn't hard enough to do any damage and the guy goes down. Stuff like that. And uh, like I said... I wouldn't blame him for that because he's just in the ring doing what he has to do. But if he comes back, I want to see some legitimate fights. I would actually like to see him fight Jake Paul. I think Jake Paul said he was a sideshow, referring to Butterbean. And what did Butterbean say? Jake Paul just has to move up, what, 10, maybe 20 pounds, and they'd be in the same weight division. Of course, I would favor Jake Paul in that fight, you know. Butterbean claims to be better than ever. He says you can see the veins in his forearms finally because he's lost so much weight, you know. And um, Butterbean even was referring to Mike Tyson being dangerous at 57. And uh, Marco, the interviewer, said, is that who you're supposed to fight? But uh, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I just thought it was interesting that Butterbean says he's coming back. And, you know, I actually, I, you know, if we're going to watch Jake Paul. Why not watch Butterbean? But now to Anthony Joshua, who's got a fight this weekend against Robert Hellenius. Joshua needs a knockout. I don't care what anybody says. You know, even Joshua knows, you could tell he's not saying he doesn't want to put pressure on him. No pressure, AJ, but you need a knockout, especially if you're going to fight Dil uh, almost a Dillian White. That fight's off for good. But especially if you're going to fight Deontay Wilder, you need a knockout, not just to get the talk going like it was a couple years ago, but also to maybe give Deontay something to think about. If you go in there and go 12 with Hellenius after Deontay stopped him in one round, even though I said it looked <coughs> suspect, uh, I know everybody talks about Deontay's power. Nah, man, the way he hit him, nah, man. He didn't follow through with it. And uh, Hellenius was just on the ground looking up. I'm like, man, stop. Don't give him an Oscar for that. You know, maybe it was legit, but I've been watching boxing for over 20 years, and it did not look legit at all to me. You kind of develop a, a eye for what is legit and not legit, especially... I've been in the ring myself many times, so you can kind of tell which punches can cause damage and which punches don't. But anyway, Anthony Joshua needs a knockout, and he needs to do it, I think, fast and in dramatic fashion. 
and it can't look suspect. It has to look legitimate. I want to see Hellenius put up a real fight. I don't want to see him just uh, come in to kind of get a check and then, you know, throw up the deuces. I don't want to see that. I want to see a legitimate fight. I want to see the things that AJ's been working on with Derek James last fight Anthony Joshua had with Jermaine Franklin. We mainly just saw a jab fest and we saw an improved jab. This time we want to see an improved jab. We want to see the uppercut. We want to see the hooks. We want to see the combinations. We want to see, um, you know, just Anthony Joshua imposing his will and fighting like a big man against another big man. That would be great. What do you guys uh, feel about Anthony Joshua? Do you feel he needs a knockout against Hellenius? What do you feel about Butterbean's comeback? <laughs> Let me know. LSR forever. This is in WJ. Thank you for watching. And let's make sure this page takes off like a car with the brakes off. And for that to happen, you would have to subscribe and share and all that. <laughs> Thanks.